Hi and welcome in my first tutorial about Java and JDBC API. So basically what is JDBC API? Well, it's uh, nothing else than just another library which uh, helps us to communicate with some type of database. For example, MySQL or PostgreSQL database. In this case, I'll show you how to connect to MySQL database and how to perform some basic CRUD operations. And for that, uh, first thing you will need is a MySQL server and uh, it won't be bad to download also a MySQL Workbench application so you can easily communicate with that uh, relational database management system. And also you will need this uh, MySQL connector jar Basically, this is a driver which will help us to communicate with MySQL database. And you will add this jar to your build path. I left you links for downloads in my description. So basically, uh, since I'm using IntelliJ IDEA, uh, it's much easier to do it in uh, Eclipse. You will just right click on your project, go somewhere in properties, uh, build path and add external jar if I remember good. But in IntelliJ IDEA, you will go File, Project Structure, okay. and you will click here on Modules, and you will click on this green plus, and you will select Jars or Directories. And when this file browser pops up, you will look for that jar file. Okay. I already did that, so let's start with coding and preparations. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'll create a new class in my source folder. And I'll name that class app. Uh, this is a class where I'm going to test all my methods. And of course I'm, I'll create a main method. Next thing I'm going to do, I'll create a new package in my source folder, comutil, for example. And here I'm going to create a new class called connection configuration. Okay. And in this class, I'll define a single method. And from this class, uh, we will basically from that method, uh, we will return a connection object. Basically, uh, every time we need to connect on our MySQL database, we will use this method from connection configuration class. And uh, that method will be like public uh, static. Return type will be connection. And you will import connection from, okay, connection. You will import connection from Java SQL package. And name of this uh, method will be get connection. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'll create a new connection variable. And I'll assign some value. I'll assign value of null no for now. Now I'm going to create a try catch block where I'm going to connect on my MySQL database. Uh, you'll have to use this try catch block since connection on data database is a risky move and it can throw your application in uh, inconsistent state. Print stack. And the first thing I have to do is to point on this driver from a MySQL connector. And it's in commysql.jdbc package and name is driver. So I'm going to point on that class by uh, typing class and calling this for name method. And here I'm going to pass up, <coughs> sorry, a simple string, which is a path, and that is 
com MySQL JDBC Drive. Okay. And now I'm going to try, I'll try to retrieve my connection object by calling get connection method from driver manager class. And as you can see, this method takes uh, three parameters. First parameter is arguments. Uh, first argument is a URL to your database. Second argument is a username. And a third argument is a password uh, of your database, of course. And uh, for MySQL, uh, URL will be like uh, JDBC MySQL uh, column and slashes uh, localhost is a host uh, port is by default 3306 and you have by default when you install MySQL server uh, by default you have this test database so let's pass a second argument uh, which is a username and username is a root and my password is one two three okay and finally i am going to return my connection okay that's it now let's test connectivity on our database in our app class uh, again i'm going to create a new connection object uh, connection variable Action, and I'll initialize that value. Okay, I'll assign value of no. I'll import connection and also I'll create a try catch and finally block. Exception E, e dot and finally, okay. In a try block of my try catch statement, I'll return connection from, I'll call this get connection method from a connection configuration class and I'll return my connection. I'll assign that value to my connection variable here in app class. Okay, get connection. That's it. And now to check whether connection is established or not, I'll create a simple if state. And I'll say if connection is not equal to null, uh, I'll say, for example, system out print line, uh, text will be like connection established. Okay. And in finally block of my try catch finally statement, I'm going to close my connection. Uh, this is very important because uh, unclosed connection can actually, it will cause a memory leak. And I'll close my connection like this. I'll say if the connection is not equal to null, I'll say connection close. Simple as that. And I'll surround this with try catch block too. Okay, now let's try to run this to see whether we can uh, establish connection at all. So let me run this application. Okay, it takes a while. Okay, and as you can see, it says connection established. So that means we connected on our test database successfully. So this should be it for this tutorial. Uh, see you next time where we are start to perform our basic CRUD operations. Bye.